Don't be afraid of the widening gap between the rich and the poor, as long as the common people don't rebel. This is a quote from Fan Gang, a professor at Peking University in China. His views have aroused heated discussions. What he meant was that the widening gap between the rich and the poor is not important, as long as the lives of ordinary people are not affected and social stability is maintained, that's fine. However, whether this point of view is in line with the actual situation of the society needs further consideration. The widening gap between rich and poor will bring a series of problems to society. First, a large gap between the rich and the poor may lead to social instability. Contradictions among various social classes will intensify, which will easily lead to a series of social problems. At the same time, the large gap between the rich and the poor will also lead to an uneven distribution of resources, making it more difficult for the poor to get out of trouble. This inequality will further widen the gap between rich and poor, forming a vicious circle. Personally, I believe that the development of society should focus on the happiness of the people. Only when the people's life is happy and satisfactory can the society be truly stable and harmonious. If the gap between the rich and the poor continues to widen, social injustice will also occur frequently, which will pose a threat to social harmony and stability. In fact, the needs of ordinary people for life are not complicated. Looking back at the 1950s and 1960s in China, ordinary people at that time were satisfied as long as they had enough to eat and clothes to wear. Due to the lack of material resources and poor living conditions at that time, the common people did not have too much expectation for the quality of life. However, with the development of society, people's requirements for the quality of life are also constantly improving. Nowadays, although most people no longer worry about the problem of food and clothing, the life of ordinary people is still full of difficulties. For me personally, happiness does not lie in luxury, but in having a stable income, a house of my own and certain living security. Only with these conditions can I feel happy and at ease. Excessive wealth gap will not only lead to social unrest, but also hinder social development. When economic resources are too concentrated in the hands of a few, the remaining majority will not be able to realize their full potential. The innovation and vitality of the society will be suppressed, and the development of the whole society will also be restricted. In addition, the large gap between the rich and the poor will also cause a waste of social resources. Excessive consumption by the rich leads to irrational allocation and waste of resources. This will pose a serious threat to the sustainable development of society. Professor Fan Gang believes that as long as the common people do not rebel, the widening gap between rich and poor is not important. However, this view ignores the complexity of society and the real needs of ordinary people. The development of society should center on the happiness of the people. Only when everyone can enjoy the fruits of development can the society truly achieve harmony and stability. Now, we need to pay close attention to the gap between rich and poor and take a proactive approach to narrowing it. This is not only to achieve social fairness and justice, but also to promote the sustainable development and progress of society.